Hey, good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? So, it's been a minute since I've done a video like this, but I figured why not. My good buddy John, the MI Woodsman, look, look in the link down there. To, I'll put one down there. Yeah, go check out Johnny. He's good people. So my good buddy John made me this here uh, leather. Well, it's for tooling leather. It's a, it's a mall. So... Take a look at that, guys. Solid oak. Look at the look at the detail. Look at the grain. Absolutely beautiful, Johnny. Put a little uh, hook on the end of it here. Now, it's nice about this. It's got some heft to it. And at first, I kind of took a look at it and was like, man, I've got a couple other wood mallets that some friends have made me uh matt from bucks wood shop made me one it's great i use it all the time uh stalker steve made me one i use it all the time too i really like it but the problem with with these the handmade wood malls they're really great for for detail work and they're not real great for brute force you know driving punch drive punches and things like that they're just they're really kind of not made for that and if you look at a professional leather tooling mallet, they've got a weight on the end of it. And I would always have liked to have that. And I was kind of talking with Johnny one night on Hangouts and I was asking him, you know, or kind of describing what I was looking for. And I didn't think much more of it. You know, me being me, John said, oh, well, take some measurements and send them to me, you know, and I'll, I'll put something together. And I'm like the king of procrastination. I completely forgot all about it. So I didn't think anything else of it, you know, John, I... <laughs> You know me. I'm sorry, man. So I got a box in the mail the other day, and I'm like, what is this? What, what, what's going on here? And uh, I opened this up, and I was just amazed with it. But then what I was really amazed with is when I picked it up, man, there's some, there's some heft to this. So I'm kind of just taking a, you know, taking a look at it here, and I'm – it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful work of art. And I mean, guys, he made this out of a piece of firewood. I mean, he literally walked up to the wood pile and said, oh, here, I, I can see that. That's, that's crazy to me that somebody can look at a raw material like that and just poof, make something out of it. But anyways, I, I, you know, I have the attention span of a squirrel. I'm like, oh, well, well something different. But uh, I got to looking at the end of it, and I looked at it, and I thought, oh, well, what the hell is that, you know? So I ended up bringing Johnny up, and I said, "Hey, man, John, what, what? This thing's awesome. It's beautiful. But what, what the hell did you do? How did you get it to be weighted like that?" And uh, if you guys want to know how he did it, I'll, I'll put a link again down somewhere down description card thing if I can figure it out. You know about how he did it, but you guys should really check it out. Johnny Mi Woodsman's probably one of the best folks that I've interacted with on YouTube. There's a really good group of community of folks and johnny's probably one of the best so you guys should definitely all go check john the mi woodsman out he's uh he's a great cat and uh brother i thank you i appreciate it and uh i'm definitely definitely gonna put her to good use so again, here it is man check it out look at look at the grain i i, I just can't believe that this was a piece of firewood and he had the the foresight to Look at that raw material and, and make it into something that I will use for years. So, again, go check Johnny the MI Woodsman out. He's good people. Tell him Big Dog sent you.